Hello and welcome back to a quick look, a pop culture show where I'll be taking you through the biggest headlines in entertainment and current events. I'm Zoe Jewell and today I am going to be taking you through everything you need to know about the 2024 Super Bowl. It's this weekend, there's a lot to break down, so let's just get right into it. I know there's a lot of people who watch the Super Bowl who have not turned on an NFL game the entire season. That's probably different this season because of the Taylor Swift effect, but I still think there's a lot of people who go into this game who don't really know what's going on, who don't really know the teams that are involved, the people that are involved. So I'm going to break it all down for you right here, right now. Okay, first thing is first. Who is playing in this year's Super Bowl? Well, I don't know if you heard, but there's a team called the Kansas City Chiefs. I am currently wearing my Kansas City Chiefs sweatshirt because I am a Chiefs fan. Um, who, will be, who will be playing the San Francisco 49ers at this year's Super Bowl? The AFC champion Chiefs versus the NFC champions, the 49ers. We don't have to get into conference champions and all that stuff right now. That might be for a different football podcast or football video that we can get into at a different time. But just know, Chiefs, 49ers. Both teams are red. Both teams wear a, a version of the color red. So you're going to be seeing the stadium probably full of red and not know who's who or who's cheering for who. Um, that is why. Both red teams. The game is obviously being played on Sunday, February 11th in Las Vegas in Allegiant Stadium, which is where the Las Vegas Raiders play their home football games. It is a relatively new stadium. And Vegas, we know Vegas as being one of the most popular destinations in the world, well known across the world. People come in from everywhere to Vegas to partake in the festivities, the parties, on just a regular everyday weekend. Now that they're hosting the Super Bowl, I can only imagine what the city is like this past, or is going to be like this weekend, the parties, the events, the celebrities, the chaos. It's gonna be madness, but we know Vegas can put on a show. So I'm sure they're gonna, they're gonna do it up, they're gonna do it big, and it's gonna be a great Super Bowl. Okay, also very important to know, the game is on CBS, starting at 6.30 p.m. Eastern time. So if you've got plans during the day on Sunday, just know, regardless of where you are in the country, 6.30 p.m. Eastern time, the game will begin. The festivities will start. So be, be prepared, have your snacks, your drinks, everything ready to go by that time. Also kind of fun fact, maybe fun to know, this is a rematch of the 2020 Super Bowl. So four years ago, the Chiefs played the 49ers. The Chiefs were down by 10 points late into the fourth quarter. They made this big comeback. Chiefs ended up winning that game, winning Patrick Mahomes' first Super Bowl. He has since won another one. And if Mahomes wins and the Chiefs win on Sunday, it will be Patrick's third Super Bowl victory, which will tie him for fourth all time. Um, most Super Bowl wins by any quarterback. He will tie, if he wins, he will tie Troy Aikman, who also has three Super Bowls, and he will only be behind Terry Bradshaw and Joe Montana, who've won four, and of course, Tom Brady, who has won seven. Patrick Mahomes is only 28 years old, so the fact that he has the chance to win his third ring is pretty crazy considering the fact that, knock on wood, he has a long career ahead of him. This is also the Chiefs' fourth Super Bowl appearance in the last five seasons. So if you're wondering why people might be rooting against the Chiefs, it's because they've been dominating the NFL for the better part of the last five, six years, and people might be wanting a bit of a change. This is also the 49ers' Um, they last appeared, as I previously mentioned, in the 2020 Super Bowl. So it's been a little while since they've made it back. Okay, now if you're not a football fan, you're probably watching for the commercials and the performers. So let's get into who is performing at this year's Super Bowl. You've probably heard that Usher will be there 
performing at halftime, but there's a few other notable stars that will be making appearances and performing during the broadcast. So country legend Reba McIntyre will be singing the national anthem. Andra Day will be performing Lift Every Voice and Sing, and Post Malone will perform America the Beautiful. Yes, Post Malone. I honestly cannot wait for that performance. I think it's going to be great. As I previously mentioned, Usher will be doing the halftime show, and a lot of people have been speculating over the last handful of months, but really within the last week, who is Usher, if anyone, who will he bring out during his halftime show. Now there's a lot of names that could appear, a lot of people that could show up because as we know, Usher loves bringing other people onto his songs. He loves having features. So there's a lot of potential people that we could be seeing. I think some of the big names we should be looking out for, Alicia Keys, Ludacris, Lil Jon, maybe Justin Bieber, I don't know. There's a lot of people, and I would love to know if you have any thoughts as to who Usher may or may not bring out, any song collaborations you think we might be hearing. Leave them in the comments and let me know because I I definitely think we're going to see somebody come out. I don't think Usher's going to do the entire show just by himself. Some Some performers do just do the show by themselves, obviously. Rihanna last year didn't bring out any special guests. But I think someone like Usher, he's going to bring some people out. Also, a lot of people have been trying to figure out what song Usher is going to open his performance with. He has a large catalog, many songs, many hits. So it'll be curious to see what he starts with. If you have a thought or a guess as to which song he will start his performance with, leave those in the comments as well, because I'm curious what people think. Obviously, the Super Bowl, known for bringing out all the celebrities. We know Taylor Swift will be in attendance cheering on her boyfriend, Travis Kelsey, and the Kansas City Chiefs. I'm sure she will bring along her many celebrity friends, people maybe we've seen at Chiefs games over the course of this season, new faces. I'll be very curious to see who she brings along with her. But the Super Bowl always brings out lots and lots of celebrities, even people who don't root for the teams that are involved. So I think we're going to see a lot of famous faces. Also, it's Las Vegas. So just the fact that it's in Vegas, I think is going to bring some people out. Let me know in the comments who you think will show up, make an appearance, be there. I think it's pretty safe to say that notable Kansas City Chiefs fans, Paul Rudd, Eric Stone Street, maybe Rob Riggle, I think they'll be there. Uh, 49ers fans like Andy Samberg could make a, an appearance. I don't know. We'll have to wait till Sunday's show to find out who shows up. I said show as if it's a show. I guess it is a show. It's a game and it's a show. Entertainment. It just, it, it checks every single box, honestly. Um, okay, guys, that's pretty much everything you need to know about this year's Super Bowl from a broad perspective, a big picture perspective, please let us know in the comments all the things I've, I've, I've asked you to, to leave. Celebrities that are going to be in attendance, what song Usher is going to start with, who he's going to bring out, who you think is going to win the big game. Are you going Chiefs? Are you going 49ers? Share all thoughts, feelings, concerns in the comments. Make sure to subscribe to our channel, follow us on social media, and we'll see you guys next time.